You must want to know what interesting travel places to refresh your mind and where you will find peace of mind. May 2024 be a very happy year for you. Forget the painful memories of yesteryear. Come visit this place to feel good. Don't forget to check out number seven of the most interesting travel destinations. Number one, Barcelona. Barcelona is home to both the crazily weird and the historically authentic. With an almost overwhelming variety of activities, this seaside city seems to attract all types of people, adventurers, romantics, party animals, and culture vultures. From the picturesque trails of the vibrant Parc Güell to the charming little alleys of the Bari Gothic, its architectural wonders could occupy a few days of your trip, but more likely a week or more will be needed. And although the beach draws throngs of residents and tourists, the world-class city is what truly shines. The Ciutat Vela, also known as the Old City, a maze of winding streets and alleyways brimming with eateries, cafes, and nightclubs, is the center of much of the action. It is also the location of Las Ramblas, the broad boulevard lined with trees that has long served as the city's heart. The works of Antoni Gaudí, the architect renowned for his unique Catalan Art Nouveau style, are equally impressive. He was the mastermind behind the city's wavy, fanciful designs, including Casa Milá, Casa Batlo, and La Sagrada Familia. Beyond Gaudí's lasting influence, there are several museums, a wide variety of parks, great dining options, and fine wine and food. See why we recommend taking a week-long vacation? Consider booking one of the top guided tours in the city to gain a general understanding of the area. Number two, Florence. Nestled in the hills of Tuscany, this small city has a rich history. The birthplace of the Renaissance, Firenze, also went by the name Florence. It was home to the wealthy Medici family and served as an inspiration to Michelangelo, David, and Brunelleschi, the Duomo. If you didn't know that Via Tornaboni is lined with upscale stores and stylish Italians, you would swear that you had stepped back in time to the 14th century. However, Florence's Renaissance art is not the main draw. Its breathtaking sunsets, delicious Italian cuisine, and enchanting atmosphere are additional reasons to visit. Take one of Florence's top tours and let a local show you around to make the most of your stay in the city. Number three, Prague. Prague is a thriving metropolis that welcomes more visitors than before. However, the city's charming downtown conceals a troubled history as well as a strong past. Prague dates from approximately the year 870 AD and has endured multiple overthrows, invasions, fires, and floods. The Czech capital is remarkable because of its reputation for tenacity and survival. These days, the city resembles a fairy tale thanks to its ancient churches, winding lanes, imposing castle perched on a hill, and bridges adorned with statues. The beauties of this city would entice even the most hardened tourist before being overtaken by its more ostentatious neighbors to the west. Prague was a hidden gem. However, the city's wonders could not be kept a secret for long. Today, visitors looking for breathtaking experiences at reasonable costs find refuge here. Even now, entrance to many popular attractions, such as the iconic Charles Bridge and the ancient Prague Castle, is free. And lodging at many hotels is significantly less expensive than in other European cities. However, the legacy of bargain hunting is running out, so now is the perfect moment to take advantage of fire sale pricing.
Number four, Athens. When it comes to historical significance, few towns can match Athens, Greece. Nonetheless, the vibrant city is also exciting and filled with things to see and do. In addition, visitors will discover that, compared to other big European cities that are crammed with holiday homes and relatively devoid of the distinctive cultural experiences many tourists yearn for, Old Athens feels a lot more lived in and authentic. Athenians leave their houses and head to the local markets or to play chess on the sidewalks as the sun rises over the sleek marble monuments of the Acropolis and fills the cobblestone streets along its base. Everything seems to be moving more slowly, as though the city is enjoying a happy retirement from its heyday as a major player in politics and culture. Number 5. Majorca. Of all the islands in the Balearics, Majorca is the largest and most diverse. It is situated off the east coast of Spain. While it's true that Majorca's immaculate coasts are lapped by the same turquoise waves as Ibiza, its neighbor to the southwest, the island's geography is home to many more marvels. See the island's Serra de Tramontana mountain range, which hugs the northern coast before plunging into the stony Cap de Formentor, or the vast stretches of greenery interior covered in plantations of olive, almond, and carob. Furthermore, Palma, the island's medieval town, is equally charming to see in its own right, with its lofty cathedrals and palaces as well as its charming squares and alleyways. When you combine that with a native way of life that values delicious food, fine wine, and good times, summertime is all about parties. You might be wondering, why not Mallorca? Number 6, Vienna. Vienna's heart is in its history, both literally and symbolically. The inner stats, inner city, winding streets wind past old buildings, creating a feeling so genuine that one could almost expect a native of Vienna, such as Sigmund Freud, the psychologist, or Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, to turn a corner on the cobblestones and say Guten Tag. Magnificent Baroque mansions from the Habsburg Monarchy Tower over the city while classical areas by Mozart emanate from modern cafes. Together with Haut Kutcher, independent bookshops are vying for customers in Vienna, making it an excellent destination for financial expenditures. A surprisingly large array of family-friendly attractions is available, such as an excellent zoo and an amusement park. While many Vienna residents go to bed early, you're not forced to. You can sneak out to one of the bars situated around the city's Bermuda Triangle or visit one of the wine taverns that border the Vienna woods. Number 7, Santorini. Around 1650 B.C. A major volcanic explosion caused the core of the then single island to implode and fall into the sea. Some claim that this was the initial location of the long-lost city of Atlantis, which vanished into the depths of the ocean. Beautiful beaches and magnificent whitewashed homes now preserve what's left of this fabled metropolis. These days, Santorini is made up of numerous islets and two inhabited islands. The majority of visitors stay on Thyra, the largest island in the archipelago, which is home to Phyra and Oya, two of Santorini's most important cities. Lean Therasia is also a great place for a leisurely day excursion. Don't overlook the more sedate islands either. Nia Kamini and Palia Kameni are both worthwhile explorations. Visit the vibrant beaches first when you arrive in Santorini. The black and red sands provide for an unforgettable experience.
Number 8. Seville Not just idealized recollections of a bygone Spain exist for the passion of a flamenco dancer, the commitment of a bullfighting matador, and the carefree indulgence of an afternoon siesta. The southernmost section of the country, Andalusia, includes Seville, where these cultural traditions play a significant role in daily life. Seville, a city influenced by Judaism, Islam, and Christianity, has remnants of each religion's architecture in its minarets, church fay aids, and former ghettos. Seville's historic neighborhoods and cultural attractions will enchant visitors who want a fair dose of history in between peaceful, drawn-out lunches and leisurely strolls down small streets. When in Seville, make plans to indulge in tapas at a corner cafe or enjoy live music performed by an impromptu guitarist in a public square. Even though the weather and laid-back way of life could tempt you to spend your days lounging about, find time to tour the parks, gardens, and palaces that highlight the city's intricate history and stunning architecture. Number 9. Madrid Madrid, the capital of Spain since 1561, has been the lifeblood of this nation in southern Europe for nearly 500 years longer than most other nations have existed. It is comparable to other global capitals in many respects, because it is the largest city in Spain, home to the majority of the nation's population, and the hub of international trade. On the other hand, you might be able to make out the seductive notes of a Spanish guitar, the snap of a flamenco dancer's castanet, and the swish of a bullfighter's crimson cloak if you pay close attention. Madrid is a destination for tourists interested in world-famous paintings and breathtaking architecture. But it's also possibly even more so for people seeking emotion translated into art and a vibrant, intense taste of life. Number 10. Porto For many years, Porto has been a popular travel destination for wine enthusiasts. It's the perfect place to sample delicious, sweet port wine. On Portugal's northwest coast, Porto, also referred to as a Porto, is a charming European mini-metropolis where tourists may enjoy plenty of recreational and cultural activities. Visitors can take in the city's diverse architecture, visit its many museums, unwind in its lush parks, and, of course, visit the beach. For many years, Porto has been a popular travel destination for wine enthusiasts. It's the perfect place to sample delicious, sweet port wine. But Vinho is not the only thing this seaside city has to offer. On Portugal's northwest coast, Porto, also referred to as a Porto, is a charming European mini-metropolis where tourists may enjoy plenty of recreational and cultural activities. Visitors can take in the city's diverse architecture, visit its many museums, unwind in its lush parks, and, of course, visit the beach. For many years, Porto has been a popular travel destination for wine enthusiasts. It's the perfect place to sample delicious, sweet port wine. Please comment on how you like the video and what type of travel video you want. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much for staying at the end and definitely share your valuable feedback.